Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrat.com. In the previous example, we looked at the simple SOSL query. We were looking for the text ABC in the customer records. So let's say there was a very simple example. In this particular tutorial, we're going to go ahead and do another example. We are going to look at the same text string ABC. Instead of only looking at the customer object, we will also look at all the fields of the account records as well. So we are going to go ahead and do this requirement. Let's say the business cases where we have to search for the text ABC in two objects. One is the account object and the other one is the customer object. As you already know, the account is a standard object. And then we have a customer object that we have, it's a custom object which we have created earlier. So we have already have some records in the customer object which are which have the name ABC in them or which starts with the letter ABC. So if you want to verify it, we have already have created these records in the previous tutorial. In the customers, we have a couple of records which either have the name as starting with the ABC or have a text inside the description which has ABC. Similarly, we are going to go ahead and create a couple of records in the account object as well where the names are starting with the letter ABC. Let's say we're going to go ahead and create this particular account here. Let's say we create another account which starts with the letter hello ABC and then create a third account here where the name does not start with the ABC. It starts with let's say the account name is not the one but let's say the some other field let's say the site field this is has an ABC in them. Okay. So let's say this, these are the different records. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and write a SOSL query to search for this particular text ABC across the account records as well as the different fields or all the fields of the customer record. So whichever records have either starting with the name ABC or have a description with the name ABC or have account with the name ABC or have something any other field which has the value ABC in it it will pull up all the records in the account all the records which meet the criteria so let's go ahead and go to our developer console and write that example here so first thing we, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and create a list of all the records that are going to be returned from the query. So we're going to create a list here. So this is a list of S object. And let's say the name of the list is customer account search list. Since we are searching in two different um, objects, one is the customer object and the other one is the account object. So that's why we have created the name as customer account search list. And this is our list here. So we have created the list here. And then we have this one. We are going to go ahead and write the SOSL query. And this particular query is going to go ahead and search for the text ABC. It's going to go ahead and search for the text ABC string in the customer object, in the customer object fields and the account object fields. So these are the two places it's going to go ahead and look for. So one is in the customer object fields and the account field. So whichever objects or the records have the name as ABC or any of the other field has ABC in them, it is going to go ahead and fetch all the records. And we're going to store the records in this particular list. So let's go ahead and write the query. The first thing in the SOSL query is the find clause. Then what are you looking for? Let's say I'm looking for the string ABC. Where are you looking for? What is the scope? So let's say we are looking in all the fields, means including the name field, email field, phone field, description field, etc. All the types of fields we are looking for. And what are we expecting it to return? Which fields of the objects we are interested in? So let's say from the customer object, I'm interested in the ID, name, and the description field. So we're going to go ahead and specify those here. So let's say from the customer object, I'm interested in the ID field. Then I'm also interested in the name field here. So let's go ahead and specify that as well. So I'm interested in the name field and I'm also interested in the description field. So the description field is, so I'm interested in the description field. So these are the fields that I'm interested in from the customer record. 
So let's say what about the fields from the account record. So let's say from the account record, I am interested in the name field and the ID field. So I'm interested in the ID and the name. So these are the two fields that I'm interested in from the account object. So whatever the results that we're going to get back from here, we are going to go ahead and store those results in the list. So what is the list name here? So we're going to go ahead and store all those results here. And once we have all the results, we're going to go ahead and display the results. So let's say system dot of debug. We can specify the search or we can say the results are and then you can display the whatever is in this particular list. So now we're going to go ahead and display that. So now let's say we wanted to have a separate list which contains the records from the customer object and another list which will only contain the records from the account object. So let's say we wanted to go ahead and divide this list into two parts. One is which will have the customer records and one which will only have the account records. We can do that as well. So let's say we will create a, another list to store the customer related records. So we're going to go ahead and create a list for the customer records. So let's say the name for the list is searched customer. So this is going to have all the customer records which are either starting with the name ABC or has the ABC in them in the description or any other field. So it will have the records related to the customer. So now we have created the list here. And so in the index of zero, since we are returning two different object fields, one is the customer, this at the index of zero, and the other one is the account, this is at the index of one. So whatever is at index of zero will be all the customer records and index of one will be all the account records. So let's go ahead and copy the same statement. We are going to go ahead and return back the account records as well in a different list and the name of the list we can say it as the searched account this is the search account list and this was going to go ahead and return you only the records which are related to the account object so this is the index of one now let's go ahead and display the results so let's say customer records matching the criteria so we're going to go ahead and display these. So we're going to go ahead and specify here. And then similarly for the account records as well. So we're going to go ahead and say the account records matching the criteria. And the name, the list we are going to display would be this particular list. Because this list contains the records for the account. And this particular list contains the records from the customer. So let me walk you through the example one more time. So first thing what we have done is we have created a list of the s objects the name of the list is customer account search list this particular list contains the result from this find sosl query now what is this query is doing it is searching for the text abc in all the fields means it no matter it's a name field or a description field or any other field it is going to go ahead and look through all the fields of the customer and the in, uh, and the account object and what will it return it will return the id field the name field and the description field from the customer record and it will return the ID and name from the account record. So once the results are returned, it will be stored in this particular list here. And then at line number seven, we are displaying the results. We are displaying whatever is um, whatever the results came back from the SOSL query. We are displaying all those results. So this particular result will have the account records as well as the customer records if there are any. Now, next thing is, let's say we wanted to go ahead and divide this list into two parts where one sub list will have the records for the customer and the other one is for the account. So we have done that by accessing this. The zeroth index will give you the customer related records and the one index will give you the account related records. And then we are individually displaying the customer records and the account records. So let's go ahead and execute this program. So we're going to go to the debug section. So as you can see here, the, in the Apex customer records, it returned you from the, the records which have the name text ABC, which has name. It also returned you with the description as well. So you can see here the name is Julie. So there's nothing ABC in here, but the description has the text ABC. 
Similarly, for this record, Huel, this particular does not have the name ABC in the name field, but in the description field, it, it's, it has the text ABC in them. So these are all the records which we return from the customer side. Similarly, if you see at the account records, it gave you the two records. One is the umbrella, and then we have, so this is the umbrella one, and then we have the ABC hero one. So these are the records that it returned you back from the account records. So one is the umbrella, and then we have the ABC hero. So if you wanted to go ahead and see how many records we created under the accounts, so it did not get return, it did not have, it did not return the hello ABC here. So if we go ahead and change this, let's say, if I go ahead and go to this hello ABC, and instead of doing it hello ABC as one word, if I go ahead and do something like this, probably this time it's going to go ahead and return you back as a result. So let's go back and return, uh, run this query one more time and see if that's going to give you the exact output. So go ahead and execute the program one more time here. So only thing I changed here is I gave some space between hello and ABC so that ABC is considered as one. Standalone your text. So go to the debug only section. Let's scroll, see if this particular thing got returned or not. Yeah, this time it returned the hello ABC. Maybe it was not... It was considering it as one word and that's what it was looking at. And then it looked at the description field and the, the SSC code and it returned the A. This umbrella has been returned because the description or some other field has a text ABC in them. And similarly, we have split down the results, one for the account related and then another one is for the customer related. So customer records, all the records which have either the text as ABC in them or the description is in has the ABC in them or it starts with the ABC, etc. So all those records have been returned and similarly for the account records also either the name has the abc in it or any of the fields besides name has the abc in it so that's why these are the re results from the sosl query so now if you go ahead and delete one of the uh, account record you will see or if you go ahead and delete the two records and just leave with one so it will only return you one result so let's go ahead and delete this Similarly, let's go ahead and delete this one as well. So now we only have one particular record which has the text ABC in it. So let's go ahead and run the query and see if this will give you the right results or not. So we have only one record which has the text ABC in them. If you go to the debug only, you can see that the output matches. It only displayed the the record which is hello abc the rest of the two records it did not picked up because those two records were deleted so this is what the sosl query is and uh, this is if you're searching for multiple object if you're searching a text in multiple objects then this is how you're going to do it if you wanted to take a look at the query you can take a look at it again and you can do the same examples across multiple objects so try it yourself and i will see you in the next tutorial thank you so much